What's up everyone? Welcome back to the Durbin Compound. If you haven't met me already, my name is Devin Durbin. So today on the channel, what we're going to be doing is troubleshooting a trimmer that just won't start. So this is a 2013 model, uh, still 100 RX. Um, I've had it since then. Uh, I haven't put any hours on it. I have another 100RX that I use mainly. This is a backup trimmer. Um, from time to time, I will run this, but it has less than four hours on it. It is springtime ready to fire it up and get it going for the season. And guess what? It won't start. So for some reason, it won't start. Today, we're going to troubleshoot it and figure out exactly what it is. If you're interested in what I have to say about it and going forward and troubleshooting it, stay tuned. All right guys, so first things first, uh, when it comes to small engines, uh, there's two things that you need is fuel and spark. Um, some, some people might argue that you need air as well. Uh, that is true, um, but the only thing that's going to restrict airflow is a clogged air filter. So this one's brand new, so we really don't have to worry about that. What we're going to do here is, uh, you know, I, I stored this with fuel in it this season or this winter, uh, and it really doesn't smell like bad fuel. I keep stable, uh, I keep stable in my fuel. I keep my fuel stabilized, and. I think this might even be Moto Mix that's in here, so I'm not really worried about the gas going bad or have gone bad since I ran this last. Um, so what I'm really concerned about here is uh, spark. I'm gonna chase the spark first. I do not think it's a fuel problem. Um, what we could do is we could spray some starting fluid in it and uh, see if it fires, uh, but it's easier just to pull the plug out real quick and um, see if we have spark. Um, the, the, uh, there's a plastic guard on this carburetor and I, I could take that off and I could spray starting fluid in it. That's what I'd probably recommend most people that are, are trying to get a trimmer running is just take some starting fluid and spray it in the carburetor. Um, if it fires off, then you know that you have a fuel problem and not a spark problem. Um, I have a reasonable assurance that this is good gas so I'm gonna go ahead and say that um, this is probably a spark issue so what I want to do here is let's take off this spark plug it is a little R10 so it's probably gonna be 5 8 so using my tecton tool set love it all right so First things first, let's test the spark on this bad boy here. Um, we got it out. It is wet. So the first thing to look for, if you're taking the fart, uh, the spark plug off, the fart plug, I said, the spark plug, um, you see how it's wet from fuel? It is getting fuel into the cylinder. Um, so I bet that this isn't going to have any spark. So I'll go ahead and insert it back into the, the uh, spark plug uh, plug here. What we're going to do is make sure that it's grounded to the engine somewhere here and we're going to pull the recoil to see if it does spark. So let's check it out. All right, it definitely does not have spark. So we're going to put it down on something here. Okay, so um, now let's rule out a bad spark plug. So I don't think I have an R10, but I probably have a BPR-7A. Um, uh, let's take out another spark plug here and just test this to see if this will fix our issue here. If it does, then we just get a new spark plug. Um, the fact that it's wet definitely makes, makes it uh, apparent that I am getting fuel. I'm just not having any spark here. Okay, so something is keeping our coil from firing. So what we might want to do here is figure out just what's going on here. Maybe it's grounding out. Um, one thing I can do here is probably disconnect the coil from... I might be able to disconnect the coil. Basically, this what this will do is take out the switch. Um, 
All right, so I'll try to show this a little better here. So you might wanna check this micro switch here. If it's in the stop position, it will, de it will depress this, basically making, making the uh, circuit complete. All right, so I just wanted to make sure that our, um, our handle here was not depressing. See, this is pushed forward all the way to stop is where it depresses the switch and then it comes off. All right, so when I initially took these, uh, took these off, uh, I was correct. So if, it, if I did take this off, or when I took these off, it would basically keep anything in this circuit here from grounding out the coil and not working. So basically what happens here is this is a wire that is completed with that micro switch. Once that micro switch depresses, the continuity is, is made back in this circuit and grounds it out here at this screw. So taking these clips off would do precisely what I was saying by allowing the coil to work if the switch was depressed. So if it was, if the trimmer was in the off position, then uh, taking this off would allow this to fire on its own. So I think what we have here is a problem with the coil. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to take this coil to um, the saw shop and I'm going to have them test it. So I need to finagle the coil out of here um, enough to be able to take it and get it tested. Um, just have it tested by the still shop and figure out if it's bad or not. Um, it won't fire a brand new plug. Um, it might be too big of a plug for it. It might not be. I don't know. I don't have a plug this small. So what I'll probably do at the shop is pick up a new spark plug and get the coil tested and we'll continue the video after that. All right, guys, so we're back the next day here. Um, I had to uh, replace the coil because I took it to the shop and they could not get a spark out of it. So the old coil was bad. Um, I did get it confirmed that it literally will pretty much spark any um, spark plug. So us testing the spark plug with a different, with the BPR7A uh, or the BPMR7A, uh, it would have made spark if it was good. So we we ruled it that it was bad before we even took it there. So what we're going to do is put this bad boy back on here, um, and then we're going to uh, go ahead and make sure that it is, uh, it is gapped correctly. So the easiest way to do this is with a business card. I'll show you here shortly here. Let's get this thing close. We're going to... close here. All right, I'm going to put this other bolt in here. Okay. All right. All right, so we get it close to snug here. All right, now... Just a regular old business card. Go ahead and slip it. We want to turn our flywheel around until the magnet part is uh, facing the coil. See the magnets here? You want to make sure that this business card is in between here and turn them over to where they're at. All right. So that business card separates the coil and the magnets. We'll go ahead and tighten it up. That is the easiest way to make it happen. So... Make sure these are nice and snug, and they're not going to go anywhere. That business card allows us proper clearance. Clearance. And go ahead and take that out, and it should make spark here. So let's go ahead. I also bought a new plug because the other one was suspect. So um, if you're looking for a different plug, the NGK uh, plug number is uh, 759 nine the or cmr yeah cmr 5h i'm gonna go ahead and put this back in here all right so we should see a spark now <laughs> all 
All right, we have Spark. Sweet. Probably hard to see on camera, but we have Spark. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in. We're gonna tighten it down. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put the trimmer back together on a time lapse here. And uh, we'll go ahead and fire it up. All right, so always remember when working on small engines that uh, air fuel and spark. So we got some spark when we had it apart, so we're gonna go ahead and give it a shot, start this bad boy up and see what it does. All right guys, so not the perfect video, but definitely a uh, real-time troubleshooting uh, trimmer that doesn't start. Uh, got the coil replaced and got it going, so uh, I'll need to put another tank of fuel through it, get it running very well, um, get all of maybe the, the fuel that was gummed up in it. Um, if you left it for a year or two years, um, you're going to have more problems. So I hope this helps somebody. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, whatever you're into, and I guess we'll see you guys in the next video.